Hi guys, it's the 25th of September and I'm just about to head down to Grovebury Sand Pit, which is a quarry where they quarry sand, funnily enough, um, on the edge of Leighton Buzzard. And um, I'm just gonna head down there because I've heard that there's a gray fallow rope there. And I've not actually been to this site before, as I've seen it, it's quite tricky to get actually in there or I didn't want to trespass, but I've, I've heard that there's actually some footpaths there now. So I'm gonna head down there. The gray fallow rope is a winter visitor in the UK, but it's still rare. Just to add to confusion, it's also called the red fallow rope because of the red plumage that it exhibits in the summer. And um, in fact, just a little bit more confusion, the other fallow rope is the red necked fallow rope, which is also gray in the winter. But anyway, we're looking for the gray fallow rope in brackets, red fallow rope. And we're gonna head off now and see if we can get any view of it whatsoever. It's quite a tiny bird and it's a um, huge expanse of water. So I found the public footpath entrance that goes into Groveby Sand Pit. Um, it's on this very busy main road here, so it's um, important to be careful. There's no parking nearby, so I've parked at, parked at the little Sainsbury's nearby. So I'm gonna make my way down now. This footpath here is public. You can just about see there over into the quarry. There's some small islands in areas where the um, foliage overhangs, so this could be interesting. Let's head this way. Right, so I found the grey fallow rope. It's um, just in this area here where there's some shallows, there's some gulls that seem to be roosting down there. Um, you can see from the colour of the water that it's very, very shallow because you can see the sand underneath the surface. It seems to be both feeding on the surface of the water, occasionally as you'd expect, swimming around, but also uh, running around on the um, sandy mud there, feeding on the surface of the sand almost like any other wader would. I'm viewing here at a fair old distance and um, we're looking into the sun and uh, it's also very windy which um, makes it hard to steady the telescope or the camera. This is the general area where it is. You can see those almost wet puddles there where the gulls are roosting. There's also a lot of heat haze, so trying to take any photographs, even just record shots, are very difficult.
So the fallow rope seems to have moved out of view for the moment. Um, whilst also looking over there, there's a fair few other birds. There's um, a good number of lapwing, uh, some teal. The gulls there are black-headed gull, lesser black-back gull, and a couple of herring gulls. Um, also a pair of kestrels were hunting just now and one made quite a close pass to me. Unfortunately, taking photos into the sun of raptors in the air is pretty difficult, but it might be an okay shot there. So I'll stay a little bit longer, see if I get any other views, or if there's anything else interesting about. And if not, I better get back to work. So the grey fallow rope did put in another appearance, albeit briefly, as a kestrel made a low pass over the pools down there. And that was followed also by two red kites coming over very low, which unsettled most of the birds. And they took flight and now I'm not quite sure where the uh, fallow rope has moved on to. It could still be down there, but just out of sight. Over the wider area of water here, there are plenty of other waterfowl. There's uh, Canada geese, mallard, tufted duck, lots of coot, at least one great crested grebe. Also lots more herring gull out there. I'm sure there's much more to find here, but I've got to go back now. But I will be back as I live in Mark Yate. It's pretty much where my finger's pointing here just up on the hillside in the Chilterns. I think that particular hill there is um, where Whipsnade and Bison Hill is. I live just behind there. So this is almost one of my local spots, despite never being here before. So I'm sure I'll be back. <laughs> 